Similar to magnets, electrostatic forces can be attractive if the charges are opposite, or they can be repulsive forces if the charges are similar. Opposites attract, like charges repel each other. The magnitude or the strength of the electric force between two charges is found using Coulomb's law. And Coulomb's law is this equation here. It says that the electric force is equal to a constant, K sub C, times the magnitude of one charge, Q1, times the magnitude of a second charge, Q2, divided by the separation between the charges in meters squared. Let's do an example problem. We've got two charges and they're a certain distance apart. We want to find the magnitude and the direction of the electric force between them. Let's find the direction first. We can see that both of these charges are positive, so this is going to be a repulsive force. To find the magnitude of the force, we're going to use Coulomb's law. All of the quantities in this equation are known, except for the force. We have Coulomb's constant, 9 times 10 to the 9th, which is K sub C. There's the magnitude of one charge, there's the magnitude of the other charge, and there's the distance between them, not in centimeters, but in meters squared. So be careful, make sure that in the denominator you have meters and not centimeters. So you can see that you're going to get a lot of practice using your exponent key on your calculator here, and when we round that to two significant figures, that force comes out to be 3.5 times 10 to the negative fifth newtons. And of course we determined earlier that that was a repulsive force because both charges have the same sign. How far apart must two protons be for them to repel each other with a force of 7.6 times 10 to the negative 26 the newtons? Again we're going to use Coulomb's law. Now what we want though is we want the distance. How far apart must the protons be? So we need to solve this for the distance between the charges, which is r. So the first thing we want to do is multiply both sides by r squared and divide both sides by the electric force, which gives us this expression. And then we need to take the square root of both sides to solve that for the distance. Now we need to remember that since we're dealing with protons, the charges here are known because each proton has a known charge of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So there we have it. Coulombs constant, which has this unit associated with it. The two charges, which since they're the same, I just saved some space by writing it once and then squaring it. And then the electric force, 7.6 times 10 to the negative 26 newtons. And we need to make sure when we type this into our calculator that we take the square root of this entire quantity. And that gives us a number of 0 0.055 meters, which is 5.5 centimeters. So when two protons are 5.5 centimeters apart, they repel each other with a force of 7.6 times 10 to the negative 26 newtons.